Bye, bitch. I'm so. <laughs> so here we are. I uh, baked a few cupcakes to get ready for Jacob's 17th birthday and Melissa's 16th birthday party. The kids have planned a party down at the beach because it's the middle of summer here and it's a great place to have a gathering. So I told them I would bring cake. So I am going to make a cupcake cake, a pull apart cake. And Jacob has drawn out the design for me, which I think is super duper cool. And I am going to try to do my best to get that design on top of this cake. Should be fun. I got to let these cool. I get to ice them tomorrow night. So I will be sure to get that for you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. Today I get to decorate my son's 17th birthday cake. I'm very excited. So I'm going to show you really quickly. I'm going to turn these cupcakes into a cake with this beautifully drawn design on it. Now Jacob drew this from the video game that we all play called World of Warcraft. And uh, we're sharing a birthday with his friend at this beach party, so it's going to be pretty cool. Double birthday cake. <laughs> Are we rolling? Okay, so I'm going to be running through this really, really quickly. It is so warm here. My icing has been playing a uh, mess with me all afternoon. And so if there's anything that you would like me to see, or so if there's anything that you would like to see me do, I'd slow it down a little bit or whatever. I would love to do another video for you to show you specifically how I do that specific thing you want to know more about. All right, so I'm going to get this a little bit more set up and we'll be right back. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do is to check out your frame. What, how much space you have on your cake board, how many cupcakes lengthwise and how many cupcakes across. So when you're getting ready to put this together to flat ice it, it's a little bit more centered. Okay, so here's how my cupcake configuration goes. How many cupcakes I stuck on this cake board. I'm going to take them off, put a flat ice of icing on there just to help hold them on, and then flat ice the top of them, and do a design on top. Here we go. So we have the cake board. How I'm going to secure these cupcakes is I have a little bit of icing. Just smear it on. You kind of press it in. Creates a sticky spot on the board for the cupcakes to adhere to. Some people put a little dab on the bottom of each cupcake. I just do it like this because it's quicker. You don't have to coat every single little bit, which is why we place the cupcakes out to begin with. And then you just start setting your cupcakes on there. Place them on quite close to mosquito. Quite close together. And you just keep doing this for the whole cake board. You can make your shapes. You draw out a shape on paper first and kind of get an idea where you want to put your cupcakes. I guess that would be a fun video to do. Find a little spot you haven't just kind of smear it around. It's icing, it smears. On these kind of to be shoved in because you're going to put icing over top of them. Do, 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 fill in the gaps. Keeping in mind the edge of your packaging. And there we go. The cupcakes are all shoved on the cake board and ready to be flat iced. <laughs> 
So you want to feel around your cupcakes and make sure they're secure. The edges are very important for holding this together. And I did notice I had a loose one here. So I will take a little dab of the icing and stick it on the bottom and then just plunk that right in place. Edges is very important that it's secure. Another one. There we go. Alright, I think I'm ready to get out the piping bag. So I'm just going to flat ice and I don't have a large uh, tip to do this with so I just cut a piping bag and I'm just going to do uh, little swirls on top on each cupcake really quick. Fill in the gaps a little bit, flatten it all out and then start on the design. There we go. Just squeezing and doing a circle around this, trying to make sure you get all the way to the edges. You want to make sure your cupcakes are really squished in. Okay, and I'll show you what it looks like after we get this all done. Almost done here, a couple more. I think doing this uses up a lot more icing than just regular icing a cake. Alright, there's going to be a few little gaps here. Kind of suspending the icing over the holes. It'll work out. One last good squish in there. Keep a wet cloth handy. Okay, so I'm just going to take my flat spatula. going to run it back and forth to smooth that icing out. Like I said, you just kind of want to stretch it out and suspend it in those little holes from one cupcake to the other. Find yourself a little air pockets, just shove a little icing in there, it'll catch. All right. The turntable is just going crazy. It's very airy icing. I am going to put a little design on top, so I'm not too worried about it being absolutely perfect. Can I spell on the floor? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. However, if you do want a perfect glossy icing, you can bring your palette knife under some hot water. 
Listen to the airplane fly by. Give your cake a little spin around. La di da da da. All right. Seriously, we're inside inside that. You fly pretty low. Okay. Here we go. So if you do want to get an absolute glossy finish on your cake, you can run your palette knife under hot water. To get that look, I like using a larger palette knife because then it's just you swipe it a couple of times, you don't have a whole bunch of lines in there, and it's like glass. But like I said, we're putting a design on top of this, so I'm not too worried about it. And I don't want it to melt too badly either. All right. So basically, I need my turntable to stop spinning. There we go. So basically now I want to figure out how big I want to make my shape of the design. And then I'm going to take a little toothpick and just kind of outline the design before I lay any icing down on here so I don't have to lift it up if I make a mistake. Always scribe it in with something, you know, use the tip of a rose nail, use a toothpick, use a skewer, use whatever's just got a little tiny point. You can make a little mark in your icing that only you can see and that's a really good way to get a guideline.